guys, welcome back. We haven't done a monthly favorites video in a while, so we thought we'd do a little catch up on the things that we've been enjoying recently. Mm -hmm. Mixture of makeup. Actually, I've only got makeup. Camilla's got a bunch of skincare. I've got some skincare, yeah, yeah. So let's go, you go first. Should we start with the thing that we have in common? Oh yes, less. Yes. So this is the Lancome Cushion Foundation, and it is glorious. So this is the... We also got one. Not today, no. So this is the Tente Doll formula. The previous cushion foundation that was released in 2015 was the Tent Mir uh, Miracle, I think, which is a lighter formulation. So no, this, okay. is, this is a thicker, more high coverage foundation than the previous release. So this is what the compact looked like, looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. You open it up and it comes with this little um, cushion applicator, which neither of us use. but. It opens up like this so you can see under this fine mesh is where the actual foundation is housed and apparently this type of mesh has been specifically engineered to accommodate a creamier, thicker texture so that when you dispense it, it like... Did not know that. Yeah. Also, a fun fact about this foundation is that once you apply it, some of the ingredients actually evaporate off your face which lowers your body temperature, or your, the temperature of your skin by I think 1.7 degrees and then by cooling your face apparently it sets the foundation and makes it adhere better to your skin which if you think about how long wearing this foundation it's is, it's so long wearing, it's really long wearing so I think you know mm, that science okay. might be legit. Sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> This is magnificent. Julia and I both absolutely love it. This is her I one. I want it every single day but yeah. one since we got it and yeah. that's about three weeks I reckon. We've had story. That. And I'm using the pleb version which is just the refill that we also got sent. But it's so um, cool that you can buy the refill. You yeah. don't have to repurchase the whole compact every time you want a new yeah. one. It's um, high coverage but still lightweight, long wearing, glowy, beautiful finish. Obviously suitable for both ends of the spectrum. You know, Julia is more kind of oily combination. I'm dry so it, it works really well for both of us and it it's is awesome. just it's the first compact foundation I've ever used and I think yeah. it's amazing it yeah. lasts amazingly well on my skin mm. sticking on the theme of quite luxurious makeup by far the blush I've used the most over the last couple of months is this glorious creature from Chanel mm. this is from their spring collection right yeah and the shade is called Elegance, number 370. I'm fairly certain it's limited edition, so I'm really sorry if you can't get your hands on it anymore, but it's just absolutely beautiful. It's actually essentially an illuminating bronzer. It is a blush, but it's very much a bronzer tone, so it's kind of a goldeny, beigey color, but it's just so flattering. It has almost a contouring effect on the cheeks. I'm wearing it today, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's mm. just so beautiful and it's neutral, so it goes with everything. Any look, whether you're wearing lots of makeup like me today, or you're having a very, very natural makeup day, it's really versatile. The formula is obviously beautiful. You know, it is Chanel. It's good quality stuff. Um, so if you can still get your hands on that collection, then go and check out that blush because, oh wow, it is beaut. Love it. Well, I'm going to carry on the Chanel oh, theme. It's nice. This, this is an oldie but a goodie, and I've been using nothing but this, really, if I'm honest. This is the La Rouge Quad. Particularly this shade here, which is kind of the camel color. You can see it's basically flat. Yeah. I've used nothing but this for weeks, months. I think mm. it is magnificent. I've tried to find dupes. I cannot. Not max over? No. Mm. No, it's like it's just the most unique tone. I cannot find something that works as well as this and looks mm. as good as this. I'm gonna keep trying and I'm hoping hoping because Chanel are bringing out some individual new cream and powder eyeshadows. I'm hoping they have one. There's yeah. either this or very similar to this because it's perfect. I just put only this on the lid and underneath and then mascara and it's absolutely stunning. I know it's nice. limited edition. You can't get it. I'm still going to try and find a dupe for you guys. I really have scoured all the counters and I just, nothing is as amazing as this. So if you have this quad, you will know and you will appreciate how wonderful it is. Okay, one last quite luxurious beauty product and it is my newest Tom Ford lipstick, uh, my latest baby in my collection. This is the shade Indian Rose. It's the color I've got on my lips right now. It's like a dark, I would almost say like a wintry nude. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it this season because it's kind of rosy, a little bit brown, but it's definitely deeper. It's not a kind of summery, throw it on every single day color but it would be really good as an everyday nude on darker mm. skin tones. It's the Tom Ford formula, so it's utterly delicious. Goes on creamy and smooth, just, oh, it's, you know, I don't know. It just makes you feel fancy. It's, and I just, it's so weighty mm. and gorgeous, and I love getting it out and putting it on. It's just the best. So joy. I love that. And basically, I, I have got um, Tom Ford 
true coral which is a gorgeous coral color but I just don't get enough wear out of it and I had a voucher so I thought let me treat myself I thought I'd get an everyday shade I could wear more regularly and I have gotten a lot of wear out of that so far so very happy with that mm. next I've got two little releases from Clarence the first is this super fun pen which we featured in a kind of new and beauty video and I've really been liking this I watched a review that Tati Glam Life Guru did and she didn't like this so I was kind of a bit apprehensive but I thought actually you know what different strokes for different folks I might love it and I do love it I think the brown and the black eye um, eyeliners are great I haven't used the blue and the lip liner although not the perfect tone for me when if I use it all over my lips and put another shade on top defeats the purpose entirely of the lip liner no, but no, I mean no, I still get longer. yeah and I, I get use out of it and I, I really love the kind of it just feels fun and it's a really lovely consistency I think it and because it's so small I can really wiggle it right into the roots of my lashes. Good product for people who do their makeup in the car <laughs> or yeah, travel a lot because yeah. it's kind of two or three in one. Yeah, I, I mean, it's technically four in one, but you're not going to use all the colors at once, are you? No. Then this other one from Clarence, which I have been loving, is their new eye cream. So on the one side, you've got the dispenser, and then on the other side, you have this kind of metal massaging tool, which is just such a joy to use in the mornings. The formulation is supposed to do all the usual things, help minimize fine lines, reduce the appearance of dark circles and puffiness and all that kind of thing. It remains to be seen long term if it does or doesn't but in terms of something that is really lovely to use, feels good, it's like a gel cream texture so it applies really smoothly, it absorbs quickly but leaves your under eyes still feeling hydrated and quite bouncy for the rest of the day which is amazing. It's aimed at women who want to start addressing the first signs of aging so if you are quite a bit older and you already um, you know need something a bit more specific and a bit more targeted this might not be for you but if you are starting your kind of eye care regime then this is a lovely starting point I think. So you will have seen this in my Sephora haul video I did when I got back from the States and it is of course the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have gotten a lot more use out of this than I thought I would and by far and away my favorite color is the shade Cobbler. Now a lot of people asked in the previous video I did I think it was the new in beauty video we did in March a lot of people asked what I had on my eyes and it was literally just this shade all over, just a wash of colour, all over the lid and underneath on the lower lash line. It's just a really flattering, slightly warm, bronzy, goldy tone. The perfect and, shade. <laughs> and the, like, it makes my eyes look really green and it blends beautifully. The quality of these shadows is unreal. I haven't been able to work my way through the whole palette yet but I am trying but that colour is just insane. I love it. It's kind of similar to Max Sable. I've swatched them next to each other. This is a little bit warmer. I'll do a close up so you can see the difference but it's just gorgeous. So I still am going to get a lot of wear out of that but I just wanted to tell you that I do think that that product lives up to the hype. I think it's gorgeous. I saw Tori got her hands on the mm. hot chocolate palette whatever it's mm. called. Give it to me. <laughs> So some new skincare for me that I've been loving. First of all is this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Mm. Guys, it's so good. It doesn't smell like anything. It's completely unfragranced. So, huh? I know, I know that you love that kind of like spa mm. experience, but for me I'm kind of not that fussed by it. Um, it is so, so good. It's every bit as good as everyone says it is. You can buy it online from Clinique locally or you can get it at the counter. It's $2.95, which I think is not a terrible price for a cleansing balm. It's quite a big um, tub. 125 mils, yeah, so it's a lovely consistency. It gets everything off. I love using it. It's just it's just brilliant And I was saying to Julia like it's I've broken up with the body shop This is something Julia's written about on the blog about 18 times So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but this is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal um, Hydrating Serum. You'll see I've really been enjoying it. There's hardly anything left. Yeah, it goes quickly that bottle, hey? Sure! <laughs> I was saying to Julia, it reminds me of the, um, if you've watched Death Becomes Her, it looks like that vial of the magic potion that she drinks that looks like that, which I hope it is. If you haven't seen that movie, yeah, watch it. <laughs> I love this. It's really highly fragranced, which did kind of put me off a little bit in the beginning, but um, you needn't worry, it's not um, going to be aggravating in any way. It is just lovely. It is lightweight. It sinks in immediately. It makes your skin feel juicy. It is just... It's a proper watery serum. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. It's so spreadable and it just kind of glides over your whole face and um, everything applies beautifully on top as you would expect and it's got a time release function which means that it continues with the hydration throughout the day which is pretty nice. So yeah, you can get it from Dischem. It's now 530 Rand which is... Spicy for Dischem, hey? But it is good and in, in the realm of quality skincare it's a drop in the ocean I think. No, completely. But like yeah. they shouldn't be selling it there. It 
yeah. Yeah. Red Square or whatever, like yeah. you said. Yeah. Well, you skin food. This stuff is great. It's just a kind of multi-purpose balm for dry or kind of cracked skin. I've been using it on my cuticles because shellac destroys my cuticles. So I've been loving this. It kind of lives next to my bed and every night it's on my cuticles and it does a lovely job. So Next up on my list are these two products from Urban Decay. The one is the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. The other is the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I did not think this would work because mm -hmm. I don't know, I just didn't think that a spray would have the same effect as a, you know, like a primer that was more like a lotion or a cream, but I don't know how it does. It's supposed to be skin balancing and oil absorbing, and I do find it does that. It's really, really effective, mm -hmm. and also so lightweight, so if you don't like having another layer of, of product over your moisturizer and under your foundation, it really does help and does exactly what it says in the tin and is just awesome. And I notice such a difference on days when I don't use this. Likewise, the All Nighter is kind of its partner in crime. You put mm -hmm. this on at the end of your makeup and it just makes everything stick and you don't look all powdery and heavy. It's awesome. It absolutely does the job. This is a cult product for a reason. Really, really love this. So is it the first time you've used this? I had it years ago, but I don't I didn't really use it consistently. I sort ah. of played around with it. But mm. now that I've used it for like every time I've worn makeup after the, over the last kind of month and a half now I am full blown in love with it it's mm. awesome and together these two are just a complete winning combination that wouldn't be suitable for dry skin so if it's all mm. absorbing I think this would no. be a little bit drying mm. I think I don't think you'd like this because you can almost feel the mattifying effect immediately as you spray it on and it starts to dry down so yeah not necessarily for, for mm. dry skin but um, the the setting spray definitely would be good for, for yeah, dry skin as well it's it for hydrating years. as well yeah it's lovely my last one is from Lancome, and we're going to start with Lancome and end with Lancome. This is the Grandiose Extreme Mascara, and it is, dang, it's good, you guys. It's Beautiful. so, so, so good. So it's got lots of these little kind of teeth in the um, head of the brush here, which are spaced really specifically to kind of grab every single lash, coat them with product, you know, the usual spiel. The formulation itself is really glossy and thick and black and just rich and delicious, and you can layer up loads of coats, and it just looks really really good it adds mega volume it's just a fantastic mascara and the pre interestingly the the um the grandiose mascara before really irritated my eyes and i had such a reaction oh, yeah. do you remember and this yeah. one doesn't so yeah. i'm pleased about that so yeah that is beautiful my last one is a black eyeliner and not just any black eyeliner it is the smashbox always on gel liner in the shade fishnet smashbox have always made some of the best eyeliners in my opinion i use the um, always sharp liners a lot because they're just so convenient and the color range is awesome i wasn't particularly excited to try this i was like oh, another black liner i've got loads of them but i've been using it in my top water line recently a lot Ooh. and it truly doesn't budge That's i haven't even awesome. tried it on my skin yet. i haven't like done a top line i've literally only used it in my waterline for a few weeks now and it 100% does not transfer onto your lower lash line. I've never found a pencil that yeah. could do that. Yeah, I, I found, I've always found some that like would work for a little while, would work if I was just wearing makeup for like the evening or something, but mm. this properly does it all day and That's yeah, it's just incredible. So it's obviously a really good long lasting formula. It's obviously super, super black. It is very creamy, so I know that it would be really good on the skin, like on the top lash line. This is awesome. I love it. So I can highly, highly recommend that if you're looking for a really good, reliable black eyeliner, which is something that, let's face it, everyone needs. Yeah. Oh, I might have to treat myself. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you've been loving recently, and we'll see you soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good week. Bye. Bye.